Hello everyone, welcome. In this episode, we are going to learn how to set up a Node.js project. To work with the Node.js project, we have to install Node.js in our local system like C, C++ and Java. Okay, so we will download, we will go to the Node.js website and if you have not downloaded and installed the Node.js, we will install the appropriate installer. And for the development purpose, we are going to use a visual code, Code Studio. That's also a very nice editor. So we will make sure that this has been properly installed in our system. Now, how to make sure that Node.js has been installed in our system? For that, what we'll do, we'll open a terminal and we'll run a command here, node minus v. This will give us the version of the node.js which had been installed in our system. Apart from this, we'll run one more command npm minus v. npm is the node packet manager. Okay, and this will give us the version of the npm. We'll talk we'll talk more about that later on. If if you are facing a issue to get the version of the node and npm, we will make sure that and we will make we will try to install the node.js again okay so now since it has been installed successfully in our system what we'll do now let's go to the visual studio code okay vs code this is our development editor okay uh, we will learn over the time we'll learn a more about the vs code but in the first session, that means in the today's session, I want to make sure that I want you people to concentrate at least on the two things. Project Explorer. This is the Project Explorer section. The another thing could be, this is the source, sorry, run and debug section. So this is the Project Explorer section. This is the most important. And the second important thing which I want you to get familiar is the very important feature of the node.js is the integrated terminal and how to open the integrated terminal go to the terminal sections and click here new terminal so this is the integrated terminal of the vs code which is helpful which is very helpful to run our node.js project and set up the node.js project okay now since the node.js has been successfully installed and the vs code is also installed in our system let's start the setup process let me let's start the project setup. Creating a project in the Node.js is very simple. It is equivalent to creating a folder in a system. So let's create a folder. So I am choosing my desktop to create my first Node.js project. So now let's click new folder. First project. So this is my project. So this is a folder and this folder is our Node.js project but how this node.js but how this folder is different from other folder how we will make sure that or oh, this is a node.js project so for that now let's go to the vs code and open that folder so the folder which we have created on desktop first project okay so we can see that okay this is our project explorer now we can see all our files and folders here and we can see that in the folder right now there is no files and folder let's open the terminal one more time okay and to differentiate this folder from other folder we will run the command npm init that means it will initialize this folder as a node.js project it will ask us some set of some set of questions that means a project related questions which we can escape and once we are done once we are done with the npm init command it will create a file called package.json and i must say that this package.json is a differentiator by looking at the package.json in any folder what we can say that this is a node.js project okay so now the next task in the node.js project what happens a uh, many a times what happens we uh, we require some external module 
okay which you also might have heard about that that means how to install a external module in our project okay so let's open the terminal one more time if it has been closed by any chance so let's go to new terminal you can also navigate to the your first terminal also okay this one so now the task is what how to install uh, some external module in the node.js project okay the external modules are the modules which are not part of our node.js node.js system okay and how to install that we use the command npm npm command is again useful for installing the modules or for installing the package so how do we write the command npm then we write i or we can write install and we can give the module name or package name so let's suppose if you want to install some module like bluebird that's very nice which we will explain we we'll learn more about the bluebird later on npm install bluebird okay and as soon as we install the a module one module in our system or in our project what we will find that a dependency section has been added in our package organization okay this dependency section by looking at this what we can say that our project is dependent on bluebird and a separate folder has been created that's called node modules okay so this is also we can say that this is a differentiator so now our folder how does our folder looks it has a two file called package.json that contains the meta information about the project and there's a folder called node modules it contains all the external modules but let's suppose if you don't want to use bluebird in our project so that means by mistake you have installed uh, some external modules what we can do we can uninstall that uninstall and the package name or module name blue bird so now you can see that our dependency section is empty and if you refresh here what we can see that our node modules folder has been gone that now our project doesn't depend on any external module so let's install some other modules let's, let's install the module one more time and we make sure that we are connected with the internet otherwise we may face some problem here so let's we have installed the bluebird one more time and let's install one another module called mysql because these are the modules which we are going to use in our later session okay so that's it about the external module management now let's log let's talk about the uh, internal sorry local module management that means the local module that means the module which will be created by us that means how to write a program okay for that what we'll do the way all our modules have been a part of one node modules folder in the same way what we'll do we'll write all our program under a one folder called src src stands for the source that's this folder name can be anything but we'll try to keep this folder name as an src and we'll keep all our program inside this now let's write a very simple program let's say hello world with the node.js and how to do that for that we'll do what we'll create a one file okay let's create the file name main.js the file name again can be anything it can be main.js it can be hello.js it can be world.js it could be anything but our task right now is okay i'm keeping the main.js just for the convention uh, a convention purpose those who are coming from the C and C++ background but yeah the name can be anything and let's write right here console.log hello world console.log is used to print the value in console that means when we will be running this command uh, running this program in the terminal this value will be printed so what we have done we have written a very simple program now let's run this and after that we'll discuss about this program now that means what how to run the node.js project so one more time once again the terminal is going to helpful for us so let's open the terminal one more time new terminal and here what we can do node and where is our program the our program is under the src folder so let's write here src and under the src for file name is what main.js so by using the node command we are running our 
program node.js first program okay and there's another way we can run this program by going to the fourth section the fourth tab apart from the project explorer apart from the search apart from the initialize that means get section this section is very important run and debug this section also this button also can be used to run and debug a node.js project so we'll talk more about the debugging later on so let's run the program from here by clicking on this run and debug button and here we have to select the option node.js okay now you can see the output and the another thing I would like to say that the output has come not in a terminal tab the output has come into a debug console tab so okay with this I am concluding this session what we have learned in this session as a summary we have set up a node.js project by creating a simple folder and how does that folder is different from the other folder the node.js folder must or node.js folder or node.js project must have a package.json file and it can have a node modules folder and later on we have created a main.js a simple program and we have ran the program from the terminal and using the debug tab that's it from this session we'll learn more about the program in our next session thank you